Because um, you can't hear a pin drop. I've heard it a bunch of times. It's, that's a stupid thing. Um, all right. to be happy. Hi there. <laughs> happy Friday. It is May the 3rd, 2019, and I'm Eric. So I can answer as always from beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where I don't really understand how we live in a world with nine Star Wars movies, 14 Star Trek movies, five alien movies, and they're remaking Independence Day and not one goddamn ALF movie yet. Yeah, what the fuck is up with that? They've remade everything else. They're remaking Independence Day. Like, how do you... That just came out two years ago. <laughs> no, it didn't. But how are you remaking something that's as new as Independence Day and yet still no one's boasting an elf movie? I, it's, a, it's an unjust world, my friend. And they're even looking at redoing um, the fucking um, Howard the Duck. Yeah, yeah there's another... Cr- they're redoing fucking Howard the Duck and not Alf? Not even one attempt? That doesn't even make sense. I understand that the writer was a big heroin pig and they made that movie about him and blah, 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 he's a bad dude. Whatever. Alf ruled. Alf was huge. Like, huge, huge, huge. That made me angry today on the bottom. Almost more angry than what I was going through when, I, when that thought went through my mind. Because <laughs> I was just thinking how great it would be to go home and watch an Alf movie. Yeah, <laughs> but no. Because I was supposed to get a month of free Netflix. There was this thing on my computer that said, hey, get a month free of Netflix. So I signed up, and then they, they charged me for the month. It wasn't free. I don't know. It came off my credit card. So I was like, well, okay, I guess I should watch this now. Then. But there's nothing worth watching. There's nothing I care about. So an Alf movie yeah. would be fantastic. I did watch, I watched, I'll, I'll admit to my listeners, hello listeners, good evening, happy Friday, uh, thank you for joining me, you're my only friends, um, please write in and, and, and tell your friends in other provinces to join us, um, we're spreading elsewhere much, much faster than we are in Canada, um, so I would like to see that thing where we're in every province at once, that would be really super cool, um, yep. try it out, but other than that, thank you so much, rest of the world. Uh, it's really cool that you guys are listening. Or uh, I don't even remember where anymore. There's so many places. It's crazy and awesome. That's just the craziest shit in the world without a doubt. So I will admit to all of you around the nation and around the world, the one show I've watched since I got Netflix, which was uh, my last day in the apartment. So what was that like uh, three days ago, I guess? I guess it was. Um, yeah. yeah, Tuesday or something like that. I, I watched the uh, Lady Gaga documentary. He's like, oh, it's in that movie. You do, you do, and they're nice. They are nice. Um, I watched it and I, I even enjoyed it. I kind of like her more now. I actually, uh, when she first came out, I couldn't stand her. But uh, when I heard she was on a radio station, she just did a, it was just her and a piano, and she did a version of Paparazzi, and I just like, oh wow, yeah, that's, that's in the movie. She does that in the movie. She does a version of that. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's just incredible. She can sing. If you have any doubt in your mind, watch that Star is Born with her, the Bradley Cooper one. Um, I'm still dying, dying to see that movie. It's uh, fantastic, and she's amazing. You don't you don't recognize her. I didn't believe it was her. Uh, it doesn't look anything like her. Um, and Not just her without fucking uh, without makeup. Well, she doesn't have makeup on in this documentary, and she she looks she's still a good looking girl, I think. But um, yes, uh, she. Uh, she doesn't have makeup in the documentary, and she doesn't look like this movie. I, mean, I don't know what she did to herself, but hell of an actor, though. She did a great job. Yeah. I, I hate to be a, on a bandwagon. I'm not, though. It's, I'm not a bandwagon guy. It's just I like I watched it, and I liked it. I didn't even know what I was watching until, like, halfway through. Um, where the hell did I see it? <laughs> That's a good question, because I'd like to know where you saw it. Cause I haven't seen that shit yet. I think it was at work. 
Someone brought it to work on a DVD. Someone must have had a stolen copy or something. Yeah. It was at work because we watched it twice. Yeah. Because we, I watched it during my shift, and then I went back there after my shift for coffee, and, and it was on again. I was like, oh, shit, this is great. Yeah, interesting. Remake of Star is Born. Sure, didn't need to be remade. Uh, that was a great movie with uh, What's Her Nuts, that crazy one. What's it? Ah. Uh, Streisand. Oh, Barbara Streisand? So, no off movie, but we remade it. Star is Born. Yeah. Uh, that's what we need. <laughs> Howard the Duck. Seriously, one of the worst movies in the history of cinematography. No else. That movie is so. I mean, like it's it's it, it's it's one of those movies that's so bad that it's a classic. Only because of the people that are in it. If it didn't have Leah Thompson, I wouldn't let them get away with it. But she gets a special place in my heart because she's the girl from Back to the Future. That's right. And that's it. She bought herself a free pass just for being part of those movies. She gets to do whatever she wants. <laughs> um, but if it wasn't her, and, and the principal from Ferris Bueller, who's I n- have never in my life known that man's name. I just know him as the principal from Ferris Bueller. He's done so many fucking movies. <laughs> uh, I actually used to know his name, but I can't think of it at the time. At this point, I don't even care. No, nah, it doesn't even matter. Unless he starts listening to our show. Um, because God, God love him. I had no idea what Keith Coogan's name was until he started listening to us. <laughs> Funny how that works, isn't it? My favorite actor, next to Christian Slater. Next to Christian Slater. Whose name I've always Number known. One. Um, there was something that I just got reminded of something he did, and I was like, oh yeah, that was fucking awesome too. And I don't remember what it was. Doesn't matter. He's awesome. <laughs> And his name sounds like you're saying goodbye to Christians, which is even better. <laughs> First thought of that. Christians, later. Christians, <laughs> later. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, just to, just to touch on it, because we do every night flat earthers are fags. Just like, throw that out there. Um, had a big fight with them again today. Oh, really? Because someone said, someone said, why don't you just go to Antarctica and look for your wall? And they're like, well, we can't just go to Antarctica. Like, who would take care of our families and we'd lose our jobs? And I was like, wow, wait a minute. Yeah. You have faith in big guns to, to do everything and you live by his word ultimately, but you don't trust him to look after your wife while you're gone for two weeks? <laughs> that doesn't sound like faith. <laughs> And no, it sounds like you're a fucking idiot and proves why you think they're this flat. Oh, that's basically what I was saying. I was saying they don't want to go there because they don't want to prove themselves wrong. And then what are they going to do with their lives? No, exactly. And I don't know what jobs they're complaining about. They're on Facebook 340 hours a week. Yeah. What jobs are you worried about where you get to do that? I don't know. They must be teachers. <laughs> they gotta be doing you know, whatever it is. They're clearly not needed at their job. Yeah, so. they are. There are people that are on this thing, all, and they're quick. Like they respond right away. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for us, Glovers. Uh, that's funny. Anyway, moving on. I don't know. How you doing, Mark? <laughs> I'm I'm alive and I'm breathing. How you? Yeah, fuck it. I'm just here. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear ya. Uh, speaking of which, I gotta keep an eye on the time. I gotta get back there before 10. Uh, don't miss that. Okay, we should get on with the show. Eric and Gord. Hey, you know what? They're asking a question on the radio tonight on my favorite radio show that we are on during, so I don't get to listen to. Uh, it doesn't matter. It plays again later. I could. I just don't. Um, there, but it's an interesting question. I thought it was funny. I'm just going to steal it and ask it on my show instead. They steal enough of my stuff. I think it's fair. Um, so there's, I guess some teacher, I believe it's in Ontario. I could be way off on that. But he's teaching a class. In, it's called adult. And he's actually teaching how to be an adult. You know, all the stuff you and I bitch about. You know, balancing a checkbook, uh, applying for a mortgage, whatever. All adult crap. He's teaching this in a class. And he's being hailed as revolutionary for doing something you and I have been saying for two years. Um, okay. <laughs> anyway, so the question posed on the radio was what, as an adult male, what is the one thing you can't do that you feel that you should be able to, but you can't? Ooh. 
His was change a tire. Was was Drex's answer? He can't. He doesn't know how to change a tire, and he, he he's a big burly guy. He feels like he should. Mm. Um, mine are countless. I'm borderline retarded. I, I there's many many things I can't do. I don't know. I mean, like I usually feign the fact that I can't do all these things, but if you if I if I was actually left to my own devices and I had to do it, I can easily do it myself. Yeah. Um, electrical work is the one thing I won't touch. Anything electrical. Oh, that's fair. I've I've done it. I've I've done it poorly. I am the only human being, as far as I know, in history that's been electrocuted by speaker wire twice. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. But what so, speaker wire? That's like a four four volts or something. Well, yeah, but nonetheless, I should still suck. And apparently, it is actually. Any electrician will tell you that it is actually impossible to happen, but I've had it happen uh, twice. That must just be your electric personality. Well, that's see, that's what I'd like to think too. I'm just um, when I first mentioned it to my to uh, to my girlfriend, uh, we actually had a laugh because uh, she said, "You know what it is," and what that she goes, "You're just not grounded enough." And I'm like, an, "Oh, oh, well done." That is that is clever. I thought that was pretty good too. So, um, what would my real answer be? I don't know. There's so many to choose from. That's actually not true. I'm actually pretty good at stuff. Yeah, like I mean, I can. I know how to change a tire. Yeah. I can change the oil if I need to change the oil in a car. I can do that. A bit of that. I worked at Mister Lube, so I can do all that crap. Um, I didn't, but it's one of the very few things I picked up in auto class. I think that's one of the problems with, with guys like you and me, uh, especially me. I Like, Drex, he, he went to broadcasting school, and he became a broadcaster, and he's been a broadcaster since he was, like, 19. Uh, he's, he's our age. He's actually the exact same age as me. Our birthdays are almost the same. Um, but that's what he's done his whole life. He's been a broadcaster. He was famous in Australia, and then he came over. He worked in Victoria for a bunch of years, and then he, then he came here. Um, so that makes sense for me. I've had more jobs than years of my life. So, uh, I've, I've done a little bit of just about goddamn everything. Yeah. I'm pretty much in the same boat. Like, I mean, I've had, I mean, I've had a little bit more time on each fucking job, but every time when I got a new job, I always went to a completely sort of different industry. So I've worked granite, steel, um, Landscaping, uh, um, retail, um, I mean, holy fuck. Yeah, I've been all over the gamut. You know, like, I, I, I've kind of hit the gauntlet on a lot of them. That's what I'm saying. We're, we're better than most for that reason. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's still a lot of stuff I really, I guess I don't know what I can and can't really do. But electrical, that's my biggest thing. I won't fucking go anywhere near anything electrical. Not going to happen. But that's not one. I, I don't think you should feel bad for that one. I bet you a lot of dudes would say that one. Yeah, well, I mean, I know it's more of a specialized field, but I know that there's, like... Like, I get nervous changing a fucking light bulb. Right. You know, like, for me, it's an actual... It, it, it's actually pretty deep stuff, deep-seated for me. Like, I, I am legit, like, terrified to do a lot of this shit, so... No, I know, I know a lot of electricians that couldn't fucking sell a set of seats, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, in your face. In your face, motherfucker. Um, oh, by the way, if you try to change your email address to uh, eat my balls, you bastard, douchebag, son of a bitch, it won't let you. Oh, that's good. It says that's not allowed. So, I was going to, my new, my new, uh, but it let me do eat a fat dick. That's funny. Oh, or was it Eat a Bag of Dicks? No, it was Eat a Fat Dick 63. Uh, but it wouldn't let me do Eat My Balls, You Son of a Bitch Deuce Bag. That's fucking funny. Um, there was too many letters at first, so I had to take the U out, so it was just Eat My Balls, Son of a Bitch Deuce Bag, and still wouldn't allow it. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, <laughs> in case you go to try tonight, if, you, if that was on your agenda, don't bother. No bother. It's not going to get you anywhere. Um, My buddy went to fucking, he wanted to get a personalized license plate back in the day, and his license was going to be two to bar. The number Ooh, two is yeah. D-A-R. And now, here's the funny thing. They rejected it, and their, their reason for the rejection was they said that it promotes drinking and driving. Yes. He said, and it's because he, he messes them back, he's like, no, I own a bar, and the bar is called the bar. 
It's a self-promotion. So give me my fucking license. And they still said no. Now, here's the funny thing. Days after he got his secondary rejection 